Hello and welcome back to Library of Runa Ranked. In this video, I'll be covering the Carnival, Full Stop Office, and Dawn Office. The set of fights finally gives us playable page draw, so let's get started. Our first card is Tailoring. This is our first 4 cost, and it's pretty good, rolling 6-10, 6-10 Pierce, both inflicting 3 bleed next scene on hit. It's extremely likely to win clashes and deal a lot of damage. One issue it does have is that since it costs 4 light, it's fairly awkward to play due to librarians having 3 starting light at this point of the game. The damage is really good with the 6 bleed though, so I think that's an effort to be a B-. Feast is our next card. It's a 2 cost that rolls 5 to 7 block, 3 to 4 slash, 1 to 7 pierce, with both offensive dice recovering 2 HP on hit. The block die is really strong, and the clash stream of the 2 and 3 isn't terrible. Compared to Retaliate, the defensive die is slightly stronger, but the offensive dice are slightly weaker. Of course, Retaliate also has the roll boosting, but Feast is quite good and is a solid B-. Will make fine silk isn't as good. This 2 cost rolls 4 to 6 block, 1 to 3, 1 to 2 blunt. The 2 adds a fascinating fabric to self and target's hand, and the 3 gains a power for each page in hand. Compared to Feast, as the block is 1 power lower, the first blunt is 1.5 power lower, and the second blunt varies, but overtakes Feast at 3 pages in hand. Note that the fascinating fabric counts towards the total, but without any page draw, you're likely to only have a high roll on the first couple of scenes. The fascinating fabric also isn't stellar, it's a 3 cost rolling 8 to 8 block, 6 to 8 of 8. It's not nothing, but it isn't much. Overall, I think that makes Will Make Fine Silk a C-. Will Be Tasty is a 1 cost, rolling 1 to 5 slash, 1 to 6 of 8, 2 to 4 slash, with both slashes recovering 1 HP on hit. This page is pretty bad, the damage and clashing potential are both low, weak evades aren't where you want to be at, and there aren't any useful status defects. This is just a D. As the Prescript Orders is up next. This 1 cost rolls 2 to 6 block, 1 to 4 of pierce, with the block restoring 1 light on clash win. While this can be a pseudo zero cost, having rolls this slow is a big liability and makes this page an F. Bizarre Attack is in a similar position. This one cost rolls 2 to 5 evade, 1 to 4 slash, with the slash dealing 5 bonus stagger damage on hit. The effect here is a lot better, but the overall damage is the same and the clashing potential is even lower, especially since the defensive die he is an evade rather than a block. This is another F. Going for Bullseye is a single use ranged 3 cost, rolling 6 to 20 pierce and inflicts 2 fragile next scene on hit. Being a ranged page is a downside, and this page is pretty mediocre anyways. The roll range is massive, and yeah, it'll probably win, but being a 3 cost with a single die isn't great. Even as a melee page, this wouldn't be very good, but as a ranged page, it's just a D+. Return Fire is a ranged single use 1 cost, rolling 1 to 8 pierce, 3 to 5 block, with the pierce inflicting 1 feeble next scene on hit. This page has the same roll range as Cooking Prep, having a slightly higher offensive die and a slightly weaker defensive die, but it also has a worse dice placement, a slightly worse effect, and is ranged, as well as Cooking Prep kind of falling off at this stage, so this is a C-. Indiscriminate Shots is a single use 2 cost ranged page that rolls 1 to 8, 1 to 8 pierce, 1 to 8 blunt, with the pierces adding 2 power to the next die on Clash Lose. While this page is used in firing squad strategies to great effect, those strats aren't covered here, and other than that, this page is just fine. The roll range is really inconsistent which sucks, but as a free hitter it's pretty good. There's a consolation prize for losing a clash, so I think that makes this a C+. I Hate CQC is our next range page. This is a single use 1 cost, rolling 2 to 6, 2 to 6 pierce, 3 to 8 of 8, with the first pierce inflicting 1 feeble next scene on hit. This page has decent rolls, and is mostly stacked onto the evade die. I think the best way to use this page is to free hit with it and use the evade to blank another page. It can be inconsistent because the opponent can't have a defensive on 1 as their first page, but if you can get it off, it'll feel amazing. I think it's good enough to be a C+. Not another step is the best page here in my opinion. This range page is a single use 2 cost, rolling 4 to 7, 4 to 7 pierce, 3 to 8 block, with the 2 inflicting 1 feeble next scene on hit. This page has the same roll range as the deep powered scratch set for 1 light cheaper, which is very good company to keep. Of course, this page is ranged and has a defensive die, but it's convincing enough as a 2 cost for it to be an A. Take the shot brings us back down to earth. This is a single use 1 cost range page rolling 2 to 6, 2 to 6 blunt, and 1 to 5 pierce. Like in discriminant shots, this page is used in firing squad strategies, but outside of that, it's pretty bad. Compared to I Hate CQC, you trade the 1 feeble and the strong evade for a mediocre pierce. This makes it slightly better at freeheading, but you lose it on the strong evade's clashing potential, which basically removes the entire reason to run the card, so this is a D. 
Headshot is our next page. This 2 cost single use range page rolls 5 to 12 pierce and inflicts 3 bleed next scene on hit. Compared to Shocking Blow, this page gains half a power into 3 bleed in exchange for being a single use range page. Unfortunately, the one good thing about strong single offensive dice pages being snuffing range pages is a moot point here, so I can't really see a use for this page, but the damage and effect is good enough for this to be a D. Target spotted is our last range page. This single use 1 cost rolls 2 to 6, 2 to 6 pierce, with the second pierce inflicted one feeble next seed on hit. Compared to I hate CQC, you lose the evade die to move the feeble to a worse position. I don't really know what they were thinking with this one, it's just an F. Full stop to life is a 2 cost rolling through to 7 through to 7 slash, with the second slash inflicting one feeble next seed on hit. Urban Plague has a lot of pages that are 2 costs with 2 dice and an average roll of 5 and some minor effect. This is our first example, and like this one, they're pretty much all C's. Beyond the Shadows, another 2 cost rolling through to 7 of 8, 2 to 5, 2 to 5 slash, with the 2 inflicting 1 bleed next scene on hit, and the 3 inflicting 2 bleed next scene on hit. I think this page is a bit better than full stop to life, because the evade can often act like double through to 7s, because it's reasonably strong, which gives you some extra damage. The bleed is also pretty nice, but it's not incredible, just a C+. Crack of Dawn is a 3 cost rolling through 8 blocks, 7 to 18 slash down flicks, 3 burn on hit, and on use it gives 2 protection to 2 random other allies next scene. Protection at this stage of the game is still mostly irrelevant, but it's not nothing. 3 burn as well isn't incredible, but not terrible. The rolls are pretty good though. The weak die being a block is nice because it can mitigate strong dice nicely, and the tear will obviously be almost anything at this stage of the game. While I would have liked to see 3 dice on this page, it's still really efficient, has good clashing and decent damage. This page is a solid B+, and is a bit stronger in a deck that focuses on burn to maximize the effect. Flash of Setup is a 1 cost, rolling 1 to 5 slash, 1 to 4 evade, 1 to 6 slash, with the evade reducing the power of the opponent's next die by 2 on clash 1, and the 3 inflicting 1 burn on hit. It also draws a page on use. This is our first true page draw, and it's not bad. The clashing is abysmal, the 1 to 4 evade may as well not exist, but the two offensive dice means the damage isn't the worst. By virtue of being page draw, this can't be lower than a B-, but it doesn't feel great to have to clash with these. Butterfly Slash is our next page. This is a 2 cost rolling 2 to 7 blunt, 3 to 5 block, 2 to 6 slash, with the slash inflicting 2 burn on hit. Compared to Feast, we gain a power on the offensive dice and a better effect, but lose 2 power on the defensive dice and slightly worse dice placement. I think that means that this is also a B-, though. Eject is another 2 cost, this one rolling 3 to 5, 3 to 5 pierce, 2 to 4 block. Both the pierces also reduce the power of the target's current die by 1. This clashes pretty well, having the same effective roll average as Butterfly Slash, but with more power on the offensive dice. It does have the worst dice placement of the 3, but it's still good enough for it to be a B-. Sunset Blade is yet another 2 cost. This one rolls 1 to 6, 1 to 5 slash, 2 to 7 blunt, all inflicting 1 burn on hit. The rolls on this page are pretty bad, but the damage is pretty high, being 3 offensive dice and 3 burn. I wouldn't run more than one of these, but I think that first copy is a C plus purely off of its damage. Handle Request is a 0 cost, rolling 1 to 6 slash, 3 to 4 block, with the slash inflicting 1 burn on hit. This is yet another unplayable 0 cost. These will never be good, and is an F. Our last card today is Stigmatize. This is a 2 cost from 3 to 6, 3 to 7 pierce, both inflicting 1 bar on hit, and on use the user gets a negative emotion coin. This is about the same as full stop to life, it has slightly worse roll range, but a better effect. I still would never use this page though, and it's just a C. In the next video, we'll be taking on the next set of urban plague receptions, that is, the Gaze Office, Kurokuma Clan, and Musicians of Bremen. I'll see you soon, and as always, thank you for watching.